Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanted to talk about something that uh, I see across the board, where whether I'm teaching an LE agency, a uh, federal agency, the military, or civilians, um, I see this all the time where people, when they wear their helmets, uh, they go ahead and they have this like, one of those guys. Now, if you are a crooked helmet guy, you may not know about it, right? And you may actually be using your night vision and just like trying to correct your vision or slightly canting your night vision so that you can still see and nobody's telling you you are crooked helmet guy. <clears throat> now, first off, it's kind of your fault, but at the same time, it's more the fault of your bros. All right, let me, let me explain. So bros don't let bros skip leg day. Bros also don't let bros wear crooked ass helmets. You guys, <laughs> You're screwing your buddy, man. Like, if you think about it, like, he can't tell, or if he hasn't been able to tell, and the second line of defense on that one is you guys. So, if your bro has a crooked-ass helmet, help him out and fix it. So, for example, one of the one of the things that happens is head shape, right? Head shape. Some people have, like, crooked-ass head shapes. They were dropped on their head as a baby or whatever the, the fault is. I don't know. It's, I'm not your real dad, so I don't know. But you may have to rearrange the paddage, right? Your pads on the inside and put one higher than the other or something of that factor, right? And yes, <laughs> I need a haircut. From there, it's how you're attaching the helmet onto your head, right? So if you think about it, right? When I put my helmet on, I like to push forward on where my shroud is, whether it's the front of the helmet or my night vision or the actual mount, whatever it is and then I lock it down or, or tighten it up, right? That way it stays nice and snug where I want it. Second thing is how they're doing their harness, right? The, the, the straps to their, to their helmet. So first things first, if you strap it and let's say, let me actually mess it up so you guys can see it. So if you see this, a lot of the times, one of these kind of things will happen where they've only tightened down one strap, one's really loose and one's tight. Obviously this is a really extreme situation of it, but it is a thing and people do do this pretty often. Help your buddy out, straighten out his helmet, and then look at how much slack he has on each end and you'll be able to go ahead and adjust it for him, right? So then, you know, loosen up his strap and tighten her down wherever is necessary. That way they're both even-ish. Does that make sense? It doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to keep his head level or his helmet level on his head. So pads, then how to like actually wear it, right? Really tighten it down with the crown adjustment or whatever they call it. And then the harness, right? However, the harness is set up. These back portions, right? Those are also adjustable on most harnesses. So make sure those are adjusted properly too. So one's not too long where it allows the, the helmet to sag and things like that. Also, making sure it's balanced, right? If, if your helmet's not balanced, it may also be a, a crooked mess, right? So if it is balanced, she should stay pretty, pretty good. If you guys have to adjust your helmet constantly so that you can see through your night vision, right? So if, if I just like, man, let's do this. If I keep adjusting the night vision so it's in front of my eyes, and it's the helmet that I keep moving and I constantly move the helmet, eventually doing stuff is gonna also make the helmet go down again and misalign with my eyes. Stop fixing it with the helmet, right? And fix it with your mount. That way, when, with your mount, you know your night vision's in front of your eyes and when the helmet moves, it just goes back to its resting place, which is in front of your eyes. Get comfy adjusting this bad boy depending on which one you're using, all right? So those are the little tidbits on my helmets that I, <laughs> just fitment of your helmet that I've noticed across the board of the last three weeks. I've taught four, four night vision classes and in all four of them, there was a crooked helmet guy that I had to fix. All right, don't let that be your buddy. Make sure that's not you. <laughs> that shit's weird. But, uh, but overall, like help your buddy out, man. So if you're in a night vision class, you see a dude with a crooked helmet, hey man, your helmet's crooked, let me help you, all right? And fix them out. Like, don't don't make it a big thing and don't make them feel bad or whatever, but like, just help them. Like, that's what we're here for. 
So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this was something that you go look in the mirror with your helmet on. Make sure you're not a crooked helmet guy. All right. Take care, guys.